Oxford team has that familiar hungry look about it after so many cup heroics. Everton make changes at fullback. Alan Harper and Gary Stevens are fit to return, but John Bailey is out with a knee injury. Up front, David Johnson deputises for Andy Gray, who is cup-tied, but there's no place for Andy King or Trevor Stephen, and injury still rules out Mark Higgins and Terry Curran. But again, a lovely atmosphere inside the manor ground, excited faces all around, and on a night like this, any view is a good view, even if you have to stand in somebody's back garden. John Hunting of Leicester gets the match going. Everton in the blue shirts and white shorts are playing from the right, and that means that Oxford in the first half will be attacking down the slope, which they love to do, to put their opponents under early stress. All tickets sold. And Oxford wondering, can they put a fourth fashionable club out of this competition? Kevin Brock is number 11. And it's interesting already, Alan Harper has gone to play at right back despite the three, and Gary Stevens has gone to left back for Everton, presumably to try and counter the threat of George Lawrence. On by Peter Reid, Sharp is chasing. Biggins, Vinter. And Southall comes confidently. This is Harper. Flick, here's Heath. Cleared by Shotton. Vinter's chasing. Well played by Stevens. Vinter. It's the first visit of Everton to the manor ground and they'll be glad to survive the opening quarter of an hour Sheedy Briggs Sheedy again offside against Sharp in the centre there and you can see Oxford pushing players on for the free kick Lawrence Sheedy. He did a touch from Sharp to find Irvin. McDonald does find Vinter. Skillfully done by him. He was flattened the second time. John Hunting played a good advantage. Not his fault that Oxford didn't benefit. The complaint by Vinter not justified in that sense, but the referee knew who'd done it and had a word. Sharp. Irvin. Skipping round McDonald. And into Reed. And it ran on and Hinshaw was in trouble and Irvin shot. And a, the crowd behind that goal, so closely packed, came tumbling down the terrace. As Reed fed the ball in, there was trouble for Hinshelwood and Irvin had the shot over the bar. Peter Reed setting up the play. Over the years, and they've been lean years since 1970, Everton have always had a very loyal away support, and they've come down here tonight. All the tickets sent to Goodison were taken, and they're hopeful that their famous club might reach the semi-finals. Their best they've done in this competition, the final in 1977, when they lost to Aston Villa after three matches. Harper with the header, Reed to knock it on against him by McDonald. 
big hits for Oxford. And Everton competing well in midfield. The tackles are fierce and firm. And Hinshaw would have to cut that one out. Lawrence is on his way down the right wing. And they've got Biggins in the centre with Vinter. And they've forced a position down here on the right of Oxford, which could spell danger for Everton. Brock will come across to take it. And all of that gone almost worked. And Southall had to come because Briggs, coming in late, got behind the defence. It's a typical Oxford ploy. And the first division teams shake when they get pushed into that position. The near post corner, a possibility again here. McDonald at number three, a man who can always pounce on the flick. And Southall away from Diggins, good goalkeeping. Really took the sting out of it. Heath for Everton. to battle Everton, there's no doubt about that. Free kick to Oxford. The goalkeeper, Neville Southall, Welsh international, has dealt extremely well with the first two tests from those vicious near post corners he's come himself and got through the crowd and stemmed the threat Johnson Heath well run by Peter Reid and he's got Sheedy in here on the left foot saved by Hardwick and it fell conveniently to Hebbard but has he overrun it not quite and he takes a nasty challenge from Alan Irvin on the edge of the area and that could be an injury for Hebbard Irvin was late with the, with the foot there there was no doubt about that he'll be spoken to by the referee in my view it was a late challenge but it was it was a good move actually Sheedy on his left foot had a chance the goalkeeper came blocked it, it fell to Hebbard, and now watch the challenge here by number seven, Irvin, for which he's being booked while you're watching this. He went in when the ball had gone. And it looks like bad news for Trevor Hebbard, the stretcher being brought on. 